551,000 properties had sales agreed this year. So inflation remains at almost a 40-year high in the country. Now, the Office of National Statistics have reported that, again, that inflation is at that high level. But what does it actually mean in terms of a definition of inflation? Well, economists describe inflation very simply as too much money in the economy. So people have got more money than the goods that are able to be purchased. So it's an interesting take that actually when we talk about inflation, it's scary because its price is going up. But when you actually look at it from the property market's perspective, it means that the country has more money than the goods and supply of services that are available. New properties listed in 2023, February versus 2022, is 529,000 new instructions hit the market. And that's in a comparison to 403,000 last year. So it's a 31% increase. So we've got more properties in the market, but what's happening with sales agreed? Well, sales agreed, again, I'm comparing this to last year, which is a bit of a freak year. 551,000 properties had sales agreed this year in comparison to last year, 465,000. So that's 87% or a 13% drop in property sales being agreed last year in comparison to this year. So we're 31% up on listings and we're 13% down on sales. But for the South East, which is most of you that are probably watching this video, if you're watching on the Avocado pages, the South East is up and they account for 58,000 of those sales agreed. And in comparison to any of the other regions in the UK, they're up by 20,000 more sales agreed. So the buoyancy of the South East is drastically higher than any other region in the country. So although it's easy to look at the national statistics and maybe be a bit concerned, well, if you're based in the South East, the market is evidently much more buoyant than in a lot of the other regions across the UK. So that's positive to take from it. Let's talk about mortgage deals. So I'm just gonna run through some of where we're at on mortgage deals. When we were looking last uh, month on the market update, we were looking at things sort of low fours. So at the moment, there are still the majority of rates low 4%. The best remortgage deal at the point of making this video is 3.79%. That's the best interest rate available. And from a purchase point of view, if you're looking to buy rather than remortgage, the best deal is 3.89. So not too much in it, but we're definitely seeing rates start to move into the threes. And I think it's only a matter of time until potentially the 90% loan to values or the 10% deposit deals do come down into that four, maybe high three percentages. Because at the moment, they're more around 4.2. In terms of demand, now this is really interesting for me. I've done this based on our database so I can see exactly what's going on with viewings because buyer demand could just be um, window shoppers or carpet treaders as we like to call them in the agency world. So what's been going on in viewings when you look at things from an average day's viewings in January, February and then the first seven days of March? Well, in January for us in comparison to February we saw an 8% increase in the average amount of viewings happening per day. So there wasn't a drastic change from January to February although normally you would see a lot more viewings happening in January as obviously the seasonal uh, times come to an end and people are looking to start buying. So to see it go up in February was quite interesting. And then if we look at March, well March in the first seven days 64% up We've gone up in February by 8% and then we've had a massive jump up in March of 64%. So there's way more people viewing properties at the moment in comparison to where they were at the start of the year and the back end of last year. So it's a really good sign for the market and that's true live data of what's actually going on. There's a lot of things I've covered there. So if you've got questions or anything that you want to know about that's going on with property at the moment, you just want to have an open conversation with your local Avocado partner. The advice that I give to anyone that's interested in property, thinking of moving this year, or just want to know what's going on with prices and just keep a tag on exactly what's happening locally, Every Thursday at 6 p.m. we go live for a live Q&A for you, the public. So if you've got a question, you can ask us live. You have four agents on there, sometimes a mortgage broker, and we will answer those for you. So make sure you check that out if you've got any questions for us. Every Thursday, 6 p.m. on the Avocado Property social media pages. You can find that Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn. Hopefully you've enjoyed this March update. Make sure you follow our pages for the April one, and I'll be back with another full roundup of exactly what's going on with the property market.